How's it going, everybody? I'm Sam Lee, reading for Ryden Roberto Flatus Jr., and welcome to Gaming Instincts. Sony's recent PlayStation 5 showcase concluded with the home run teaser for God of War's latest entry, Ragnarok. The trailer paints an Omega symbol representing the God of War, then runes are etched upon its surface. The time draws near, says Kratos' disembodied voice as the markings form. You must prepare yourself. A fate to black transitions to bold claims. Ragnarok is coming. 20. 21. Hopefully, Santa Monica can outdo itself, improving upon the already incredible gameplay of God of War. Here are top 5 things we want from God of War Ragnarok. Number 5. More of the same. The adage, don't fix what's not broken, applies heavily to Santa Monica, though the studio is certainly no stranger to fine-tuning gaming experiences. God of War did it right on many levels. The combat system felt fluid, yet had a satisfying weight to it and the weapon-specific skill trees led to diverse, entertaining battles. Atreus' situational abilities and arrows added further nuance to the gameplay by creating a micromanagement element. God of War was lauded for its mechanics and will be, understandably, hard to beat. Expect to see the same style of combat with notable improvements, such as new abilities, weapons, or stances. God of War is a story about Atreus as much as Kratos, and devs have stated he will age along with the story. Ragnarok will likely feature an older, teenage Atreus, leading to changes in the father-son combat dynamic. This is the kind of change people want to see, and an example of story affecting gameplay. Number 4. Offline Looter God of War's looting and gearing systems worked well, providing players with choice. Certain talisman abilities could even be enchanted onto gear during late game. The Muspelheim and Niflheim challenges were an entertaining way to obtain better armor, which could be used to fight the Valkyries difficult bosses scattered throughout the world. For a single-player game, God of War had better endgame content than many multiplayer titles. It's likely Ragnarok will feature similar endgame content, as well as loot and gearing systems. One of the coolest parts of God of War was equipping runes that synchronized with chosen talents, as well as personal fighting style. Halfway through New Game Plus, every player was using the uniquely customized version of Kratos. The myriad of different gear and talismans led to incredible amounts of replayability. Looting in New Game Plus is a necessity for Ragnarok. Number 3. New Game Plus, a must. Santa Monica's New Game Plus mode is a work of art, besting any other. Not only do players start with all talents and skills, but they keep their armor and weapons as well, including the Blades of Chaos. Enemies are scaled up to match players' level in armor, but higher level gear is made available. God of War's base armor levels are 1 through 5, while its New Game Plus contains armor levels 6 through 10, providing players more freedom through power. There are New Game Plus versions of all armors found in the first playthrough, including Muspelheim and Niflheim sets. Number 2. Godly Framerate As amazing as God of War was, its framerate wasn't great, considering the PS4's hardware and 30fps limit. Ragnarok, made for the PS5, will be optimized for its new hardware and should be able to handle 4K resolution while maintaining 60fps. With the careful precision required in action games such as this one, as well as the necessity to react instantly to enemy attacks, the extra frames per second will be a welcome addition. Plus, it's easier on the eyes. Number 1. Ragnarok God of War ended ominously. Thimblevetter, the three-year winter, marked the coming of Ragnarok. In a post credit scene, years after the beginning of Thimblevetter, Thor appears before Kratos, but it ends before any interaction between the two can occur. Whether Thor's visit is friendly or ill-intended, it's clear he'll be a major part of the sequel. Judging from Santa Monica's previous writing, it's likely fans will enjoy watching Kratos smash Thor to bits while dual-wielding Mjolnir in the Leviathan Axe. Or something like that. With a name like Ragnarok, Santa Monica's sure to go big. Gargantuan, even. God of War had a large semi-open world and huge set pieces such as Thalmor's corpse. Large-scale battles with gigantic dragons made for excellent encounters, and various iconic enemies will remain memorable. Regardless, players only saw the gods Baldur, Magni, and Modi. Ragnarok will likely include Thor, and he's probably not happy with Kratos given recent events. Wherever the story is going, hopefully it involves more gods and even more grandiose set pieces and monsters. Santa Monica is known for quality work and quite frankly, no God of War game to date has disappointed. As the wave of excitement surges for Ragnarok, it's safe to say, many just want more God of War. This has been Gaming Instincts. If you like what you saw, be sure to check out our website and subscribe to not miss out on upcoming content on all things gaming. And also guys, we are now live on Trovo, a new awesome streaming platform where you can catch us every day starting at 1pm EST for 8-12 to 12 hours of streaming goodness. 
You can find us at trovo.live slash gaming instincts or check out the description below for a link. So come join us. It'll be a blast. Thanks for watching. Until next time.